Hey guys, welcome to Training Reviews. So I've got here the Mixter E8 wireless uh, active noise cancelling headphones. I'm going to give you a quick unboxing and review on this and see how the audio quality is. So let's get straight into it. Right, so if we go ahead and open this box. So let's go ahead and look at what's inside this little carry case. We have the headphones there neatly laid out. Let's take this outside. So you've got your USB charger and you've got the wired counterpart for the headphones if you don't want to use the wireless. Then you have a user guide in there and then this is your warranty card in the shape of headphones. I think that looks pretty cool. Right so just pulling them out. I like this carry case actually it's quite neat. So put that to one side, this is what the headphones look like. Nice solid build. Now I like the design of this, you've got the soft padding inside the headband and actually on the earpieces as well. Let's see where the buttons are. So on the left earpiece you have the noise cancelling button and the charging port. On the right earpiece you have the power on and volume up and down buttons as well. So you can use this to control your music, take phone calls, you have an inbuilt microphone as well. So let's go ahead and see how to pair this with my phone and hopefully get some audio recommendations. Right, so you'd have to hold the power button down until it starts flashing alternating red and blue. You can see audio confirmation as well when you listen to the headphones, it says power on and then if you keep holding it, it will say pairing. So now I just go onto my phone and go into the Bluetooth settings and there you have the Mixer E8 just appear there and I'll connect it connected so let's go ahead and put this on and I'll give you a little audio review so it's quite solid and uh, actually I think it's quite comfortable it doesn't really press against any of the ears I feel like I can wear this for quite a long time you can adjust the size of the headband as well by pulling it up or pushing it down and making it tighter it is quietly tightly held that's one of the reasons why it has to be noise cancelling so that there's no noise leaks uh, coming out from the side of the earpieces so you some people may feel like that is a little bit too tight so you'd have to adjust it a tiny bit now the thing i want to test out as well is the active noise cancelling button that they have specifically which uh, reduces the noise coming from outside now they recommend that you don't use this for extended periods of time otherwise it will start hurting your ears however for most situations this is going to just do you a really good job regardless of whether you're in a really noisy environment or not it's actually doing a very good job just keeping it tight and uh, keeping the noise locked inside so let's go ahead and play something and I'll give you a review I have to say the bass is really good in this. I've noticed while speaking, I can barely hear myself speak because it's really good at doing the uh, noise cancellation. What I'm going to do now is turn on the noise cancellation button and see if I can hear myself talk. Okay, wow, that's a big difference. I can't hear a word I'm saying. All I can see is It's made the music louder as soon as I turn that on. So that's one of the reasons why you can't use it for an extended period of time. But I have no idea what I'm saying right now. But that's how good of a job it does. Now let me turn it back off. I'm going to show you guys a difference with this into the microphone. This is without the noise cancellation on. Now I'm going to turn the button for active noise cancellation on now. You may have noticed that it's gotten a little bit louder, but it actually locks in the music and it just keeps it tight. Now I have to say, the quality in the audio was really good, it was crystal clear, I think there's good bass in there as well. Now I also have various other headphones, I have the Marshall Major 2 Bluetooth headphones, I have the Bose SoundLink headphones as well. 
I think the Marshall on-ear headphones, the bass is probably slightly better, but obviously it's more expensive set of headphones as well. Although this does a really good job, especially when you put the noise cancellation button on, the bass really picks up and you have just awesome audio. Now, just to mention that the active noise cancellation, it's generally for areas where it is really a lot of noise coming from the outside. So this could be when you're commuting on a train, when you're flying on a plane, when you're you know, near a construction site and so on. So if you're just generally out and about, you're walking, you're in the office, you wouldn't need to use that noise cancellation button whatsoever. It does a really good job without that. In terms of the price points, I think that's where this stands out the most. For what you get, this is actually worth 60 pounds and it's available now on Amazon UK. I'll leave a link in the description below. It was 150 pounds, so you've got a really good saving of 90 pounds on there, so 60% off. Go check them out, I really think you'll like it. The build quality is awesome. It's really easy to just fold, put away, and put into your carry case and take it with you. The wireless battery life comes with 18 hours of wireless playtime. There is other headphones that come with a little bit more. For example, my Marshall ones are 30 hour battery life, so I was hoping that this comes with a little bit more battery life, but then again, 18 hours will get you plenty of music time for most of the things you wanna use it for. If you have the active noise cancellation button on all the time, then you'll get 16 hours of playtime. I just wanna give you a quick shot to see how this looks when you've got it on from different angles just so you can see actually the size of it so if I go ahead and put that back on so this is what it looks like from the front now if I turn to the side this is the side view and if I turn to the back overall I definitely would recommend them I think they're doing an awesome job you're definitely getting a really good solid set of headphones here and I don't think there's another competition out there that you'd get this level of quality for that price so definitely check them out i've got all the relevant links in the description below if you have any questions on this and if you'd like to know a little bit more then please do drop a comment i will get back to you other than that thanks for watching guys and i'll see you next time